Grusha describes herself in uh, scene one. She says she's strong, she can do everything, and nobody ever complains about her. And I think that's true. I think she is strong and she can do everything. She's obviously honest as well because she says all those things about herself. But I think strong is a really good way to describe her. I have done this play before, a couple of years ago, with National Youth Theatre of Wales. And I played the, the narrator in that, so I got to do a lot of singing. It was great to come back to this, to knowing the play and knowing the characters, but being able to explore a new character. But it was really helpful to know Brecht and how he works before I started this. I definitely do backstory and work on what has happened to the character in their life up until the point that the play starts or when the audience meets them for the first time. I think that's important for me to know my journey as, 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 a char as the character. But there's things like um, emotional, emotional stuff and how they're feeling that I leave until we start rehearsing because I think it's important that somebody only feels something because they're reacting off someone else and they get that from something else or someone else and so it's nice to to get to discover that for the first time on your feet in the rehearsal room. Sarah works with a process that is kind of of the Stanislavski style, that we sit down, we start the scene, and we read until there's an event, um, which is something that happens in the play that affects all the characters, and then we then go through individually what that character wants in the in that scene or in that part of the scene so that it's very clear for us as, as actors and that's something that we can use to play then. When she gets to the bridge, Grisha is exhausted. She's so tired emotionally and also physically as well. She's been carrying the baby for months by this point. And you have to remember, she's a young girl, so she's not really used to having a baby on her side or on her back or in her arms. And a lot has happened to her by that point as well within the play. So I don't think there's anything else in her head other than the fact that she just wants to get across that bridge because she knows that that's the end. She's come this far and she's not about to turn back now. Mass or Fav, pride of the Grossy I you do. Mass or Fav. The bridge will definitely be a challenging scene in order to um, get all the emotions across in that physically and mentally. But also scene three with her brother that she's been living with for a year now, and then he finds a place for her to be safe. In order for her to be safe, he, she has to marry somebody else. And that'll be a really hard moment um, and a challenge for me in order to create the sense that she is doing this for Michael, the baby, and knowing that she's got Simon Shashava back at home that she's promised her hand to. So there's that battle between her love for Simon and her love for the child that will be really important for me to get across, I think. I think the play is definitely relevant to today's audience. I did it four years ago when it was relevant then, and four years later it's just as relevant today, if not more, with everything that's going on in our world, with people having to leave their homes and escape and war and everything within our country with this uncertainty, this cloud of uncertainty that's going on within our government and nobody really knowing what's to come. I think all those themes are relevant in the play 